This is an MRI image of the brain. And in image D there, you see that is the image of what is enlarged in, in image B. That is an enlarged view of the third ventricle. Here is a series of pictures depicting the CSF flow, which is the bright spot that you see coming into the third ventricle during forced inspiration. This depicts one inspiration lasting 2.5 seconds. So it'd be something like this. Inspiration actually drives the CSF into the third ventricle, the cave of Brahman, the fluid filled space in the center of the brain. This is a diagram of the CSF flow during forced breathing at each spinal level. The bars above the line indicate movement towards the head and the bars below the line indicate movement towards the sacrum. The IN in red is forced inspiration and the EX in blue is expiration. The red bars show that forced inspiration leads to an upward flow of CSF at all spinal levels that were tested. The blue bars show that there's that forced expiration leads to a downward flow only in the mid and lower spinal cord regions. The amount of research linking breath work with the brain activity is truly astonishing. Recent findings have revealed that our breathing can actively influence the flow of cerebrospinal fluid. Consider the various breathwork practices, like holotropic breathwork, the Wim Hof method, pranayama, or even just deep breathing exercises aimed at relaxation. Now, envision how each breath you take could be actively circulating the CSF within your spine and brain. This concept opens up exciting possibilities, such as the idea of cosmic consciousness spreading throughout your being.